In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create this neon abstract lines looping background. Welcome back everyone, hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, my name's Shaul Gonsalves and this is Animation Deconstructed. Now this is a requested video, so if you have something that you're looking for help on, hit me up in the comments or find me on Instagram and send me a message there. Otherwise, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So inside After Effects, I'm just going to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, and let's make this 10 seconds long. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to create a new layer, solid, and we'll call this BG background. I'm going to come over to the effects and presets panel. I'm going to type in gradient ramp, and let's just double click that. I'm going to take one of these colors down to the bottom left, and one of these to the top right, and input two different colors here. If you want to follow along, it is 040013, and the other color is 06001F. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer, so a new solid. Let's call this one lines one. And then I'm going to add a turbulent noise to this. So it's type in turbulent, and you want to find turbulent noise, not turbulent displace. Double click, and you'll get something like this. Let's change basic to strings down at the bottom here. Let's invert this, and let's play with some of the settings. I'm going to take the contrast right up, let's say about 2690, so we get these really small lines. I'm going to take the complexity down to 1, and then I'm going to drop down the transform, and we'll scale this right up. Let's make it around number 360. Now I just want to play with some of these options. If you drop down evolution options, we can see random seed here. I just want to change this so we get a bit of a different look. So I'm going to leave it at 100, and then I'm also going to just offset this turbulence if we hover over the middle here and we drag right and hold shift we can just get something that we like and then the next thing we're going to do is add a tint effect type in tint double click that and this is how we're going to recolor our effect i'm going to swap the colors here and then i'm going to change the white to cc 0 ff then i'm going to come over to the effects and presets type in glow and find stylized glow, double click that, and let's just change a few settings here. I'm going to take the threshold all the way down, so let's say just one. The glow radius, let's take that up to, let's say 39, that's looking pretty good. And then I just want to take the glow intensity down, let's say about 0.4. And I don't want this additive, so I'm going to change this to screen. I'm also going to change the layer mode over here to screen, and it'll then screen over the background. Let's duplicate this, and I'm going to just play with a few settings. Let's change the contrast. Let's drag this up to, let's say, 3, 5, 4, 5. Let's play with this positioning and just move it down somewhere around here. I'm going to drop down the transform, and I'm going to scale this down a little. So let's say 306 instead of 360. Let's change the color of this so that we see this better. I'm going to click on the pink, 00 D E F F. So it's a blue. And then let's adjust this glow. So I'm going to reset it just so that we go back to the standard glow. Then let's take this up to, let's say, 80. And just up on this slightly and change the additive to screen again. Just going to click on the source name so I can see these. I'm going to rename this to lines 2. And then I'm going to right click new solid. And I'm going to call this lines 3. What I want to do is add a fractal noise to this, so fractal noise. And the reason I'm using this one is because I want to animate this, but I want it to be loopable over the 10 seconds. And the difference is between the turbulent noise and the fractal noise is this little drop down area here where you can click cycle evolution, which allows you to stipulate how many revolutions is a loopable cycle. So let's change a few options here. I'm going to change basic down to string again. This time I'm going to change the noise type to spline. Tick invert on. Let's check the complexity. Let's say 1.2 this time. Contrast. We're in the 3000s on the other one. So let's do something similar. 3740. It's pretty thin. We'll play with our transform to make this bigger. But let's also take the brightness down. You can see we can really get that black out there. Just choose something that's a minus 39. Pop that back up. And I'm going to scale this up by 200%. Let's see. That's looking pretty good. Let's tick this cycle evolution on. And then I'm going to keyframe the evolution at zero. Move over 10 seconds and set this to one. And you'll see it's exactly the same. But if we scroll through, this is now animating. I'm going to pop this back up. Let's add a tint like we did before, swap the colors, change the white, 
let's say ff0072 add a glow let's take this down to let's say 45 and the glow radius up to 50 and change this additive to screen it's going to drop the 45 down to 44 just to get a bit more pink in here change the layer mode to screen the next thing i want to do is add some animation to the entire effect so i'm going to right click new adjustment layer let's hit the enter key to rename this and call this turbulent I'm going to come over to the effects and presets and we're going to type in turbulent and this time we're going to select turbulent displace and you'll see as we click it something happens i can turn this on and off let's change a few things here displacement let's change this to bulge smoother let's take the size to negative let's say negative 136 let's take the size up to something like a hundred and then i'm going to drop down the evolution options turn on the cycle evolution keyframe the evolution at zero move over to the end and add a one and you can see over here cycle in revolutions one is over here if you wanted this to go faster you can have more randomness just by changing this to two and then change the evolution to two at 10 seconds i'm just going to take a look at this okay my amount defaulted back to 50 i'm just going to take that up to 136 really wanted this to affect the background and that's looking a lot better next thing let's select the lines too i'm going to duplicate that and drag it to the top let's change the color of this to a darker blue so 006 cff and i'm going to play with the contrast let's take this right down so below 1000 about 925 you can see this is very soft drop down the transform this is 306 so let's say in the 200s 220 let's drop down the evolution options and i'm just going to play with the random seed till i get something that i like so mine is at 320 now let's just adjust the glow let's take this to let's see what 55 is like and the glow radius let's make this pretty big so 115 it's on screen and i just want to take the entire layer transparency so press the t key and we'll bring up the op opacity take this down to about 35 and that's looking pretty good and let's adjust the colors and just fix a few things here so i'm going to select new adjustment layers we can call this curves come over to the effects and presets type in curves and add color correction curves to this just going to bring this down, add a point here, a point there. Bring this down something like this. Start getting this really bright kind of neon look to this. Let's then right click new adjustment layer, call this darker. I'm going to add a tint to this. And then I'm going to pick a color. So this purple that we've been using, 06001F. I'm going to pick it with the other tool as well. I'm going to drag back on this. So let's say about 88 looks good. I'm going to create a mask on this and I want this to almost be feathered on the outside and inverted. So let's double click this. Let's come down. Our mask should be showing over here. If not, just twirl down and find it. We want to click inverted and come to your pen tool and go down to the mask feather tool. Select that. Let's click and let's draw all the way to the edge. And then I'm going to do it inside as well. Then I'm going to come over to the layer mode and we're going to select darken. Coming back to the layers panel, we're going to right click, go to new adjustment layers. Let's rename this to glow. Come over to effects and presets, type in glow, add a glow to this. Let's adjust a few things. So take this up to, let's say about 80. And the glow radius, let's go all the way up to about 140. And this should soften a lot of what we're seeing. Next thing, I just want to blur a few things here. So new adjustment layer again. Press the enter key, type in blur. Let's go over to the effects and presets. Type in CC radial blur. So RAD and we should see it. CC radial blur. Double click that. My caps was on. Change the type to centered zoom. Let's take the amount up. Don't need a lot. So let's say about seven. And then the quality, let's take that right up to 100. Last thing I want to do is just add some more distortion to this. So new adjustment layer, you can call this distort. Come over to effects and presets and let's tap in turbulent again. And we will use the turbulent displace. This will be pretty simple. I'm just going to change the displacement type to turbulent smoother. 
take the amount slightly up so about 58 and the size of this let's take this down I'm going to say 63 and just give this a play if you want to watch more tutorials like this take a look at either of the videos popping up on screen right now keep animating and until next time